The Sunday Times reports that HSBC Sri Lanka allegedly violated exchange control regulations by opening up uh, offshore current accounts through its branch in the Maldives for domestic corporate sector clients who use the government's external commercial borrowing scheme, also known as ECBS. According to the Sunday Times report, the external commercial borrowing scheme was available from January 2013 to December last year and it allowed local companies to borrow outside Sri Lanka up to 30 million US dollars or its equivalent value in any other foreign currency via various Sri Lanka-based banks. The article further notes that HSBC Sri Lanka allegedly facilitated borrowings through the ECBS but instead of setting up offshore loan accounts for clients, had opened current accounts on their behalf. About a few years ago, the Central Bank of Sri Lanka permitted Sri Lanka's corporate sector to borrow in foreign exchange from foreign banks. The objective was to improve the country's foreign exchange situation. However, as the uh, matters have uh, revealed now, one bank, one foreign bank has uh, uh, used the uh, foreign loan for proceeds of the borrowers to credit uh, accounts maintained by these borrowers in uh, bank accounts outside Sri Lanka, uh, which is against the uh, objective of the central bank and therefore the central bank will have to take a very serious uh, note of this uh, deviation from the practice and from the instructions it has given and conduct a proper inquiry and uh, see that uh, even other commercial banks are uh, complying with the instructions given by the central bank. The risk to the country is that uh, these loans have to be repaid by Sri Lanka out of the foreign exchange that they earn through their normal operations and if the benefit of the foreign exchange has not come to Sri Lanka because those accounts have been maintained outside Sri Lanka the people in Sri Lanka will have to use the foreign exchange they have earned uh, in other ways uh, to repay this loan so which is not a, a good thing for a country. There is a system to get those funds to a personal account at HSBC Colombo. If this money is invested abroad and a profit is earned from it, when that money is brought to Sri Lanka via the branch in Maldives, a payment has to be made to the government. But in this case, the funds are brought straight into the individual's account in Sri Lanka. This collapses all of the controls. These individuals earn a profit through this. <laughs> The Sunday Times also reports that a number of senior managers at HSBC Sri Lanka had to leave the organization over allegations of manipulating figures. The article also notes that the practice of alleged manipulation of interest rates had been going on for at least six years without being flagged by operations, internal audit, finance, credit risk management or external auditors of the bank. The multinational company has been in the spotlight over the past few years with numerous scandals being reported. Most recently, U.S. authorities took steps to investigate allegations of currency manipulation as well as hiring practices. The foreign exchange law has been violated. It is an illegal act. This law has been violated which means that certain persons have acted through HSBC to use foreign exchange outside of these controls. HSBC can at any time open a bank over there. It can be considered a branch and funds can be transferred between the two. This is a violation of the exchange controls in that country and the exchange controls in our country. Unfortunately, the, uh, the regulator, the central bank of Sri Lanka, is acting in certain instances like the policeman going visiting the murder scene. I mean, that is not what is expected of the central bank of Sri Lanka as the regulator. There must be some action taken by them to prevent unethical operations, irregular operations, and to regulate the functions of the commercial banks. We have seen uh, many such instances in the past. For example, another leading uh, multinational corporation bank in Sri Lanka. They were involved in uh, massive fraudulent activities. One was the hedging deal, the infamous hedging deal. It was, the, it was a multinational corporation bank that initiated the hedging fraud in this country that introduced the hedging transaction into the country. So they were, they were directly held responsible, although 
So far, no action has been taken on the matter.